So this is my mushroom piston engine design. Um, I thought I'd show a video of um, a SolidWorks assembly. Um, you can get a better idea of how it works or what it is. Um, so this is a two-cylinder um, design for the Kawasaki EX500, which was a four-stroke originally, of course, and it uses the Kawasaki head as a four-valve exhaust-only head. Um, so here's the read intakes. Um, I got a read off a um, KTM 300. It uses low pressure direct injection, so here's an EV1 injector, the fuel rail here. I'm just showing one injector, one of, and the assembly's complete on the left cylinder, here it is. This is the water inlet. There's the temp sensor, cylinder temperature sensor, coolant temp. Um, there's that, so I'll show a section view of it. Let me go to plane, display. Okay, here's a section view. So you get to see the read inlet. This is the inlet chamber here, and then the transfer ports in the cylinder liner. So as as the piston as the piston moves down, it compresses the volume below the piston in this area here, and then the transfers open and the pressurized air mixture, air only mixture, transfers through into the above the piston. And um, at the same time, I time the injector to fire. So the injector fires across the air charge that's going through these ports, the transfer ports. Um, oops. This thing's not going to cooperate with me again. Anyway, so it uses. The oil rings, the oil rings are an external ring down here. And this is this is the piston liner, so this is steel. Um, it uses this design uses a narrow wrist pin. I'm working on another design to reduce this diameter here because this increases efficiency when you reduce this, this area here. You increase this area here and reduce this diameter here. So I'm changing the connecting rod. Um, this is an external oiler just to add some oil to this to this bore here plus this point goes past in the maximum stroke this goes past here and this little oil injector adds some oil to the wrist pin area I found the wrist pin needed a little more oiling so here we go um, I've got about uh, three hours of time on it right now and about another hour of time with the turbocharger. I decided to add a turbocharger to it to, to see how that was because but basically two strokes never work with a turbocharger. Um, and this one can because it doesn't have the, the um, piston face heating etc. And plus the, the mixing from the exhaust to the intake is, is much improved over a typical port two stroke. Anyway, there you go.